Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Sabrina Villalon, your registered dietitian. Today we are focusing on stress, strain, and how it impacts our bodies and brain. Simply put, stress can kill. People with high levels of chronic stress or psychological distress are more likely to die of various causes, including heart disease and stroke. Chronic stress is also linked to anxiety disorders and major depression. Stress can cause irritability problems such as um, sleep disruption, headaches, changes in appetite, and gut discomfort. A stressful situation sets off a chain of events in your body. You release adrenaline, a hormone that temporarily causes your breathing and heart rate to speed up and your blood pressure to rise. These reactions prepare you to deal with the situation, the flight or flight response. Chronic stress is when stress is constant and your body is in high gear off and on for days or weeks at a time. Chronic stress may lead to high blood pressure, which can increase risk of heart attack and stroke. So what can we do for stress? Fortunately, we have six different stress fighting techniques to talk about today. Number one being getting out of the house. Take a walk, get lost in nature, sit at your favorite park, find an indoor activity for when it's way too hot to get outside, like coffee shops, libraries, the mall, or even a friend's house. Number two, use your network. When we get overwhelmed and stressed, it can be easy to lock ourselves away. But reaching out and connecting with friends and family can help decrease stress and elevate our mood. Number three, lean on a furry friend. Do you have a pet? Petting animals may help to reduce um, psychological reactions to stress. Number four, prioritize your sleep schedule. Adults should aim for seven to nine hours a night. Set a regular bedtime and wake up routine. Try to stay off electronics or screens at bedtime. Sleep has a very particular role in managing memory, hormones, emotions, and relaxation. Sleep deficiency influences the way we manage stress and in turn leads to even more stress. Lack of sleep takes away our ability to cope with daily challenges and stressors. Number five, explore mindfulness or a type of meditation that focuses your attention on your present experiences without interpretation or judgment. If chronic stress has plagued your life, you might benefit from speaking with a professional to work on different approaches. Number six is a big one, and that is exercise. When I say exercise, I do not just mean lifting heavy weights at the gym. I'm talking about moving your body in a way that feels good. That might be riding your bike, going swimming, lifting those heavy weights, walking your dog, or working in the yard. Regular physical activity can relieve tension, anxiety, and depression. Exercise also has the potential to elevate your mood immediately as a sort of exercise high. If physical activity hasn't been a staple, that's okay. It might take some time to build new routines or find a type of movement you actually enjoy. Don't be feel bad if starting an exercise routine is difficult for you. Every time you move your body, you are making progress. Thanks for tuning in today. As always, please reach out with any questions or concerns. Additionally, we have a great therapist on staff, Gina, who would love to talk to you about managing stress and anxiety. Hey everyone, I'm Gina Orr, your mental health therapist. Most of us experience worry, stress, or anxiety at least once on any given day. So what can we do when stress and anxiety really affect us? As Sabrina mentioned, a regular sleep schedule, exercise, and reaching out to a friend or family member, furry or not, can really help reduce our stress and anxiety. Here are some, a couple of other things that you can do to help reduce your stress levels. Consider what you can and cannot control in the stressful situation. Then focus your energy on what you can control and try to let go of the things you cannot. Don't compare your stress to someone else's stress. We, are, we all experience stress differently, we're all individuals, and we will respond to stress differently. What worked for someone else may not work for you to reduce your stress. Third, stress is a normal biological response and is a part of our lives. If you are experiencing stress or anxiety that you feel you cannot control, please reach out and talk to your PCP, a trusted healthcare professional, or your Tulsa Cares mental health team will be happy to help you. Thank you for watching again today. Thanks guys.